Clickety clack down the track. It's another exciting let's play. We're playing Scud, the disposable assassin on Sega Saturn. Who are you? I'm Mandy. Yes. Who, how, <laughs> who are you, Mandy? Um, I am Pan Pizza's oldest Tumblr friend. Yes, we met on Tumblr, and uh, a long time ago we we met, and I was like, oh my god, this girl pl uh, blogs about Cartoon Network stuff and has all these collectibles <laughs> and things, and worked on Fusion Fall. It's like, oh my gosh, yeah, and that's why I followed you since I was like, please, I'm so desperate. Essentially that. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that was, we've been friends for at least six years. Oh yeah, <laughs> from the beginning, yeah, from when, well, when Tumblr met, which for some people, yeah. uh, Tumblr is someone's entire life, so you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we're playing Sega, uh, the Scud, the Disposable Assassin, since this was a game you grew up on, the Sega yes. Saturn. A yes. A console nobody had. Like, you, you grew up... <laughs> did you have anything besides the Sega Saturn? I had um, a Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. And for a while, we had a Super Nintendo system that was broken, and you had to take one cartridge and put it on top of the other just to get it to stay in. Wow. So you, you, I, I, I think I had the same problem where I taped down my Super Nintendo cartridges. <laughs> How did yours break? Just general misuse? It, it was old. It was really old. That's what happened. Yeah. But uh, this game is uh, Scud the Disposable Assassin, and it's based off a uh, comic book. And But most people now know it as um, just a meme from Rick and Morty. Well, there was this one short called Scud Vlog 12, I think, and it's where Rick and Morty, long before the show premiered, talk about Scud the Disposable Assassin. And basically, this, co it, this is based off a comic. Marty, drop whatever you're doing. I gotta tell you about a comic book called Scud the Disposable Assassin. But Doc, I'm right in the middle of, of standing all alone by myself in this darkened room. I'm having a whole lot of fun. Marty, I know that's important, but it can wait. Nobody knows where she came from. She just popped up in the basement of a mannequin factory. She kills everything that moves. And that is totally uncalled for. That part scared you, didn't it, when you were younger? This game has been out for 20 years now. It came out in 1997. Yeah. Um, I was eight years old at the time. <laughs> and you see that Jeff, the, the, yeah. the monster there from the comics? Yeah, with the, the three-prong head, like the, yeah. the outlet head. Well, the, Like, what the heck? Yeah, I read the comic after playing this game. and it, this, this game is very accurate to the comics, but essentially that's a monster that combines with a bunch of objects. And this is the Scud robot. So if you want someone dead in this timeline, uh, just get that quarter. Fireman Press, which is the publisher of the comic, put a quarter in, <laughs> and then this robot will go out and kill the, the thing you want targeted. But once it's once the target is dead, uh, the Scud robot will self-destruct. But in the storyline, right. this Scud robot realizes that he, if he kills the target, he dies too. So instead of killing Jeff, th that monster, he decides to just put it on life support and take it to the hospital. And he has to keep it alive. That way, he'll be alive too. So, he so what he does is take a bunch of hitman jobs on the side to pay for like the medical bills to keep that thing alive. Thus, he gets to. Keep be kept alive and all that that i just explained is in the first co issue of this comic it's fucking crazy yeah yeah uh, you... we just saw this monster that had like a, i don't even know how to describe it it is just a mis mishmash of like random objects yeah part squid part uh i don't know but just it combines with a lot of stuff it's called jeff it's called jeff this monster <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I have very vague memories of this game as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I watched my cousins play it. Um, it's been so long that, you know, the, dusting off the cobwebs, I remember this cutscene. Yeah. I definitely remember Jeff mm -hmm. picking up the child and, like, murdering them <laughs> well, and will... throwing them at the screen. And I remember freaking out because the... that was, like, the first time I ever witnessed, like, a, a yeah, right here. Like, what? Fuck. What did this person do to you? <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, that's not a child. It's a monster. But unless you read the comic, you probably would not oh. know that. No, okay, well. Yeah. 
I'm gonna still assume he didn't do anything to deserve that. Yeah. I mean, essentially, the, the comic opens up to, like, uh, some factory being overrun by this monster, and uh, Scud here has to go kill it. So, yeah, it, it, I mean, it's surprising. It's very surprising how well this uh, game reflects the comic. But here, finally, after that four minute long cutscene, you get to play the game. Yeah. Have you ever played. And it's loading! Yeah. It's loading! This is the Sega Saturn. This, we all gotta <laughs> load. But have you ever played a game where the cutscene is just so ridiculously long? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, but this is the game. It's essentially. plays like Earthworm Jim, although not as good at all. <laughs> I mean, you're basically running in a straight line. There's almost no platforming in this first Yeah, stage. that's the tutorial. This is, survive. There is no tutorial. They're just like, hey, <laughs> throw you in. You, you figure it out, kid. Oh, yeah, but no, none of these monsters were ever in the... Uh, it was like a toy factory, a mannequin factory, I believe, which is what it was here. But yeah, I do love the... Yeah, that's terrifying. Look at that. I mean, yeah, I love the pre-rendered CG graphics, like the ones you see in, like, Donkey Kong Country or uh, Five Nights <laughs> at Freddy's. Like, I... Uh, that's something I love about Five Nights at Freddy's, even though I don't care about the games, but I just love the style of it, just how it's, you know, it's pre-rendered. Yeah. It's nostalgic. Look at how he jumps. Like, yeah, but you can't really like, go in. What is he doing? With, what is he doing with his legs when he jumps up? He's like spread eagle. What is that? I don't know. It's the, the comic is just ridiculous. It's a mix of like Crank meets Bubble Bo meets Dead Leaves, Earthworm Jim. Oh Gym. man, I haven't. I haven't watched Crank in like a hundred years. Yeah. I mean, it's, like I, I, mean, I feel like this movie. I mean, I mean, this game. Oh, the comic book could very well be like the next Deadpool, because Deadpool is yeah. ridiculous and the world around him is normal. But um, Scud, he, he's normal, but the world around him is crazy. So I think that would be a good like compliment to Deadpool in, in that style without yeah. ripping it off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I just realized. Hmm. He looks like Drix from Ozzy and Drix. Oh, yeah, like a skinny version of Drix. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but here's the it's boss like battle, I guess. Drix's long-lost brother or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's Scud, it's, I know it's... Uh, you, you said that Scud is a, a bomb and... Oh, God, those, yeah, those bleeding kind of eye bomb. kids. Look at those... God. It's disturbing. <laughs> this is... This was some, like, oh. nightmare fuel. Yeah, the comic was not this terrifying. Oh, and I won, and I play a cutscene. Do you only have one eye? Can you keep a monster alive so I don't self-destruct? We can do anything for a price. I'm a robot. I got no money. Get a job like the rest of us. I'm not a oh, counselor. Hang on, I got a call. This is Tony Tasty. I got your message. If you want money, go to the prison and whack this guy, Paula Pooey. Oh, yeah, so basically I got to go to the prison and whack a guy for these mobsters. But yeah, he, I, I, I don't know if he has one eye or not, but it's just a stylistic choice, I guess. Hmm. Maybe it's it's like one light behind the eye and po yeah, I don't know. Possibly. I mean, he's very cheap model. You never read the comics or anything. <laughs> Do you remember like why your family bought this game? Uh, I believe it belonged to my cousins and they brought it with them. <laughs> and it scared the shit like, out of you. Yes, it did. And for like the longest time, I thought it was a dream. And then I just, I saw um, Osmosis Jones. Uh -huh. And I saw, you know, something was familiar about that. And then the word Scud came to mind. Mm -hmm. I just like remembered that now. Like it was, it was Osmosis Jones that made me remember Scud. <laughs> Which is it's funny, because oh uh, I, I did a Let's Play on the Osmosis Jones video game on Game Boy Advance, which, for some reason, it was in 3D, and the Game Boy Advance could barely ever do 3D. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's yeah. very terrible. But this level, this is a I hate this level. Like, the first time I played this, like, I, I, I tweeted at the creator, Rob Schraub, and, like, he, even <laughs> he didn't me re reply to me since it's like, I don't care about this video game. But anyway, it's a, it's a maze game. Like, it's one of those 2D mazes where it's like, you either go left, Left or right, and there's no indication, and I couldn't find a walkthrough online for this level, so I don't remember where I have to go. And all the levels look the same, so you have to like rely on pure memory. Basically, oh, but and also oh this game does have a lot of a bit of variety thrown at you because uh, this game is also light gun compatible. So if you have the Sega Saturn light gun, you can like, mm -hmm. I think you could. Okay, I, okay, you could play. So one, it's two players. One could play as Scud and his friend Zipper. I forget what his name what his friend was, this zipper guy. Oh, fuck. Drywall. Drywall, yes, drywall. 
<laughs> but like you can either play the second player could either play as drywall and, and be in the same uh, plane of plane here, just like fighting with you, or yeah. the second player could control the light gun. So it's it's kind of like Mario Galaxy's. Oh my what thing happened? crashed! Oh, fuck. oh no! I'm using an emulator. That's what happened. <laughs> Oh, no, now we have to sit through that whole cutscene again. Oh, no, hopefully I can skip it. Oh, wait, can I rewind? Oh. Damn, no. <laughs> oh, oh, my God, uh, we have to live through it again. I'm so sorry. I've been bothering you for years to play this game, <laughs> and now it's just, like, pissing you off. I feel so oh, bad. Nah. But now I really want to watch Osmosis Jones. Oh, yeah, see. <laughs> Now that I think about it, I'm surprised this game didn't get, like, or the comic didn't get, you know, a gritty cartoon oh, well, I, on MTV. Actually, they were going to make one on what? MTV. Holy moly. But it was never made. I, ah. Hang on. <laughs> Damn. We can talk about how crin our crin more cringy stories of how we met. We didn't, it wasn't cringy how we met. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was cringy. <laughs> My fans would disagree, but hang... <laughs> okay, so since the game has crashed, uh, we have to start the game over. And for some reason, the the, the skip the skip cheat doesn't work on here. So thanks to Silver Golem of uh, GameFacts.com for giving me cheats that don't work on this emulator. <laughs> thanks for nothing. So yeah, when we... You and I met, we... I don't know, because I was thinking like, oh my gosh, you like Cartoon Network? And like, you were... The way you talked to me on Skype, you were very like open about stuff. And I was like, uh, is she flirting with me? <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm extremely casual. Because <laughs> there were... I don't know, there were times yeah. where I was like, uh, should you be saying this to me? I don't know. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Because that could be anything. Okay, so there was this one time where I was at Target and I bought this, like, um, first aid kit. It came in, like, this box that was just a, a simple red square, but it has, like, a, a health plus on it. Like, a, yeah. a red cross on it. And it looked like a video game power-up. And I posted <laughs> about it. And you say, oh, I bought some... I, I don't know if I could say... If you want... I'll cut this out if you want. Vibrators <laughs> that came in packages like that for to be discreet. <laughs> Remember this. You said that, and I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Can you say that? <laughs> I don't remember this. Well, oh my god. I do, and I was like, I don't know. Is she coming on to me? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember this, but that definitely sounds like something I would say. That says, I remember, you don't remember my our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My special moment in time. I don't know. We've we've all we've been doing this what fifteen minutes and already we're talking about sex toys. Yes. I'm impressed. Y you, um, you brought it up all those years ago. <laughs> I honestly don't remember, but it sounds like something I would do. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we met. Um, because I was doing a Fusion Fall fan comic. That's how long oh, ago yeah. this your, was. Oh, yeah, your comic coded Lily, which I remember I yeah. promoted on one, co one uh, day. Yeah, and you messaged me asking me how I draw like that, and I was like, I don't freaking know. So I just, like, emailed you the, the Photoshop file because I didn't know how to answer that. Yeah. So I was kind of bullshitting my way through. <laughs> Yeah, so I was that, just here, take the file, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I don't know, I, I saw your comic and it looked cute, and it, it, it was in that outline, you know, no outline style stuff, you know, C Coded Lily is what the comic was called, and I don't know, I, I also saw you were a girl, I think, I think that's what I, what I saw, and I was like, oh, please, please give me a shot, like, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I was barely out of high school, I, you know, I was getting over my fuckboy phase, you know? You had a fuckboy face? I guess so. I would be described <laughs> as a fuckboy in, in high school because I was like, please, just go out with me. Come on. Uh, you know, I, I think not, that's more Not, not like... to you. I, some other girl was in high school because I was like, come on. I, I didn't ask actually ask anyone out. I was just like, uh, you know, just hint at it and like hoping they'll ask me first. <laughs> Obviously, that never worked. It was one of those things where everybody knew I, I, I wanted to bone someone, but uh, but I could never say well, it, it's, you know? It's, it takes a certain level of finesse to just go up to somebody and be like, hey, let's fuck. You, yeah. you can't be rejected if you never ask anyone. That's true. That's absolutely true. You cannot lose if you don't play. Yeah, it's like, there's no... <laughs> what's there to lose? <laughs> Nothing. 
That's terrible life advice. Yeah. <laughs> But I like how in this Scud game, like, hang on, he sometimes poses like this when you're shooting. Like, it doesn't really do anything, although it kind of spreads out the shot. Yeah, it's just cool. Yeah. <laughs> but this game, but yeah, this level, I don't know if I'm ever going to make it through. Hopefully it doesn't crash again. I like how you have to shoot at the door to get it to open. Yeah. What's funny is even the, the, the door that says outpost, outpost open up or something, that's that's in the comic also. It's This game is very oh, accurate. Did you see that there was a soda machine in the back that said spite? Spite. Oh, yeah. Which, yeah. W what's funny is like for my comic, Loki IRL, which I took a lot of inspiration from Scud, like I wanted to put it in the background like a... Uh, a vending machine that says Scud Soda, a reference to this, because, you know, a bright yellow thing would look nice. Hmm. Yeah. Although I'm thinking, like, if I make, like, merchandise, like, you know, there's, like, fake Duff beer cans and whatever, like, <laughs> I don't want to get sued, you know? I don't think you're going to get sued. Yeah, it's like, Rob Schraub, can I have this as a, as, as a thing <laughs> in my comic and eventually one day sell it as merchandise, you know? I don't know. He'd probably be like, wow, people still remember that. It's like, well, it's got the disposable <laughs> assassin still has somewhat of a cult following. I mean, it was a, it was a kind of a popular underground comic in the 90s, and uh, there were plans for a live action, for a, an animated, uh, a theatrical movie by Oliver Stone, of all people. <laughs> Although oh, my it God. It never went through, but there was also plans for, like, a, an MTV cartoon in, the, in, the, in a CG style similar to that Spider-Man the Spider-Man MTV cartoon, like, there's some footage of it. Oh, crap. I'll, I'll link it below, but there's some footage of it and just the little bits of CG render tests, and it, it kind of looked cool, and I wish it went through, but sadly, no. Like, Scud is definitely something that could work as a cartoon on Adult Swim. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if they were just, like, shorts, like, bumpers between commercials. Yeah, I mean, it would go right, great right next to Venture Brothers, because um, also Helper from Venture Brothers does look like Scud. Yeah, you're right, he does. Yeah, we kind of have the same... Oh, I heard a Sega sound effect. <laughs> that's that... my phone. Oh, okay, it was that's like... That's my cell phone. I thought that was hidden away into the Sega Saturn. No. No, uh, every time I get a text, it makes the sound, yeah. the the bling, when you get a ring in Sonic. Yeah, because uh, you want a bone... You're currently obsessed with Shadow the Hedgehog and such. I'm sorry, did you just say I want a bone Shadow the Hedgehog? Possibly. 